five, four, three, two, one. How's it going today people? LK here with another firearm review. This is going to be review number three and I couldn't be more excited to share with you guys the latest edition of my family of Iron Justice. Uh, this is a Christmas present from my beloved fiance April and it's got to be the best damn present I've ever received bar none anywhere. Inside the Magnum Research box is a Desert Eagle Mark 19 50 caliber Action Express semi-automatic pistol um, it's arguably the most powerful semi-automatic handgun in the world today. And I remember when I opened it up Christmas morning, my jaw just completely about fell to the floor. Was just in a state of absolute shock. Uh, guys, this is how you know your woman truly loves you. Especially considering the fact that, you know, we're not wealthy people. Uh, MSRP on this gun is right around uh, $1,500, you know, give or take a couple hundred depending on where you shop. So, uh, to my fiance April, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. And we'll go ahead and open him up here. Hello, Sandman. <laughs> I tell you, this has got to be one of the most badass pistols I've ever seen. I mean, this is just a beast. Heavy, heavy weapon. And a very welcome addition to the family, to say the least. <laughs> God, I love my fiance. And one of the things to point out at first here, in case anyone else has had this issue, is the tactical rail on top of the barrel here, or as it's more technically known, the Picatinny rail uh, for adding a scope or a red dot sight. If you've researched this gun, you've seen some different picks. You've probably seen a couple shots of a different looking rail that has only two locking slots on it. Uh, an issue for me when I was on the market was uh, identifying this so I could be sure to get the version I wanted. And I don't personally prefer this one. I wanted to be sure I didn't end up getting stuck with it in the event I decided to order the gun online. And there really wasn't a lot of info about it on the net, at least not that I could find. I even consulted a couple of gun dealers and they actually called it a weaver rail, which is incorrect. A weaver rail is actually very similar to the Picatinny. Uh, its locking slots are about 4.5 millimeters in width. Uh, the Picatinnies are more around 5.2. but. This model here is actually not a rail at all. It's basically just old scope sights which were used before the Picatinny system was introduced. So just wanted to make sure that we differentiate that because when I was looking for it I could not find any information on it. I uh, didn't know exactly what to call it. Uh, but there you go. Not really technically a rail. This system here, the Picatinny, uh, very nice. Adds a lot of sex appeal to the gun in my opinion. And I'd like to send a special shout out to my boy John Chia. Uh, for giving me the one-on-one -on -one session on rails and clearing up the confusion for me. And the slide and barrel disassembly is pretty simple. As with most semi-autos, you have a lock button here. And on the other side, you have a release lever. And making sure your magazine's out. Hold down the lock button. And slide the release lever forward counterclockwise. And as you go back and release the slide here, very carefully. The barrel can easily be pushed forward, lifted right out. And the slide can be pushed forward and it comes right out as well. But uh, keep in mind, when you're taking the slide off, the spring system has a tendency to fall out on you. I kind of like to hold this upside down as I pull this slide off. And the recoil spring system that you see in here it does have a tendency to drop out in your lap when you're pulling the action off and uh, it is oily and it will stain your clothes and get all over the place so just be advised uh, it's easy to lift it out if you're going to clean the weapon not a problem but uh, again might want to hold that upside down so that stays in place and sliding it back in not a problem and once you have the barrel back on Just pull the pieces back here, 
and then you want to take your lever and then slide it right back in its home position and the weapon's locked again so pretty easy to work with and easy to take apart and clean and the magazine here holds seven rounds single stack plus one in the chamber you have a maximum of eight and believe me that is plenty to do a variety of damage with this and the next thing to show you is a 50 caliber round <laughs> I mean take a look at this and to give you guys an idea of the kind of size we're talking about with the 50 action express we'll do a quick side-by-side -side comparison starting off with 32 and next we'll bring in a 9 millimeter and coming in next this is going to be a 40 caliber this is going to be a 38 special and it's big brother 357 magnum and coming in last this is the 50 caliber action express little bit of size difference there folks and I mean that just almost shouldn't be legal for a handgun absolutely insane and we'll even do a quick overhead shot here so you guys can see the difference in diameter that's freaking awesome and a quick history lesson for you the Desert Eagle actually originated from Israel formerly uh, IMI which was Israel Military Industries now known as IWI which was Israel Weapon Industries and of course as Americans we can't stand it when someone else in the world has something cooler than we do so just like the case with the Beretta of Italy uh, USA bought into the Desert Eagles and now in addition to Israel they're now manufactured here in America under Magnum Research which is uh, based out of Minneapolis Minnesota and one of the really cool things about this particular model the Mark 19 actually features an interchangeable barrel system uh, you see the 50 Action Express here. This can actually be swapped out. Uh, you can downgrade the magnitude of the gun to either a 357 Magnum or 44 Magnum. I guess if you were super intent on trying to carry the weapon or you know you wanted to use it as a primary home defense, you could reduce the magnitude and uh, lower the chances of uh, possibly injuring someone else if you happen to fire the weapon. But uh, me. I don't think I'll be doing that. The 50 Action Express suits me just fine. Um, I have plenty of weapons for home defense and for carrying, so won't be using this for that. Uh, for me, downgrading the magnitude kind of defeats the purpose of uh, the price tag of this beast. So, just my two cents, but if you wanted to do it, you definitely have the ability. And of course, loading the weapon is a snap. Pop your magazine out place one of these bad boys in the mag here and you kind of want to slap it in place and pop the ambidextrous safety off and this is a single action pistol which means you cannot squeeze the trigger and move the hammer from its home position it's not a double action pistol it's only single so as you actually rack this weapon now you have one in the chamber, the hammer's back, it's ready to fire, and you have to be careful not to accidentally set this off in your house because it will go through some walls. <laughs> no question. And I mean, it's, it's funny to joke about it, but it's actually a very serious matter. You don't ever want to accidentally set this thing off because, I mean, you have no idea how far it's going to go, what it's going to hit, who it's going to hit. Definitely got to be extremely careful here, folks. And that actually brings me to another good point. <clears throat> in the last two reviews, I talked a lot about concealed carry. I uh, showed the Sig Sauer P239, which is an optimal choice for carrying. But let me be clear. The Desert Eagle is not a good choice for concealed carry. I mean, aside from it being big and bulky, the firepower of this beast is just total overkill. Meaning if you shoot somebody, the round is going to overpenetrate it will exit the person and keep going and as the first as the person who fired the weapon you're legally responsible for everything the bullet hits so I mean if you're legally justified to take someone down and you shoot them and then accidentally hit someone else you're gonna be in a lot of trouble not a good choice for carrying 
and really not a good choice for home defense either because again I mean these rounds will travel through a couple of walls before they stop so you know if you live in an apartment or a house not made of brick firing it is just not a good idea for civilians this gun is for sheer recreation just take it out to the range or in the country and blow some stuff up I mean unless you're hunting bear <laughs> I hear it makes a good backup for a high-powered rifle other than that yeah, it's basically just so you can look at the person next to you and say, Mine's bigger than yours! <laughs> <Take that. laughs> and that's about it on the simplicities. Again, these reviews are for hands-on basics. We could go into the complexities of the mechanics, but that would be about a 30-minute review at minimum. Nobody wants to sit and listen to a guy talk that long. So let's cut the talk and do a little target practice. Let's shoot it. I don't think he's going to be getting up from that. And with that, we can pretty much conclude the Desert Eagle Mark 19 is a badass mother. <laughs> but I'm sure most of you already knew that. If you'd like to click share, favorite the video, subscribe, feel free. I don't really care so much from a popularity standpoint, but it will help other people find the video, give them some information, and hopefully a little entertainment. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and we'll catch you next time.